Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Paul. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, this afternoon's uh, next episode of the Admiral Markets Trading Spotlight webinar series, where today we'll be talking about combining price action trading tactics. Thank you for joining us. We really enjoy any of the interaction that we have with our uh, people here on the webinar. So if you have any questions or if you have any thoughts on price action, please be uh, drop us a comment there in the chat box and we'll be happy to uh, interact with you and provide you with some help and guidance. What are we gonna talk about today on our uh, webinar? Well, we're gonna firstly go about understanding the importance of being able to combine price action trading tactics. We'll look at building a more comprehensive trading plan. We'll look to identify better setups and hopefully also increase your trading opportunities. As always, we really want to be able to help you here at Admiral Markets in your own trading journey. And we're going to look to sort of try and provide as much support as we possibly can. One of the ways we can do that is by getting support after the webinar. If you come and join us in our uh, trading spotlight community on Traders Yard. You'll find that I'll be in there for the rest of the day and you can join us here on the Trading Spotlight group at tradersyard.com forward slash group forward slash 312. Myself and my colleagues Marcus and Jens are in there most days providing some insight and some content and we uh, really enjoy it when you join us there and provide us with your uh, own thoughts and feedback on markets and trades. So please feel free to come and join us. We really do look forward to seeing you there. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Paul. I've traded for a, uh, a good while and actually have spent uh, many years trading for myself, for funds, also for uh, high net worth clients, but also uh, helping doing consultancy and coaching work with traders, primarily for my own trading. I'm a dominant trend trader for my swing and position trades, and I'm a mean reversion trader for intraday trading. Today, here we are, you know, with Admiral Markets, you'll see that uh, invariably Admiral Markets provide a wide range of uh, instruments there that uh, provide you with access to be able to engage with financial markets. They have both uh, uh, global expertise with uh, uh, local contact. You can see that they are regulated uh, yeah, across many environments throughout the world and provide very competitive spreads on very uh, attractive uh, um, trading instruments like Euro Dollar and the DAX 30 all of which you can engage with markets through the world's most trade popular trading platforms, MT4 and MT5. And if you get in touch with your account representative, they'll be very happy to uh, help guide you there in your, uh, in your trading. So ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about combining price action trading tactics. In previous webinars, we have covered using price action to build your trading plan. We shared numerous price action setups that provide simple, clear entry opportunities. Today, we'll look to go just a little step further and talk about the power of combining these price action tactics. So how can we utilize these tactics to enhance our trading plan? Well, as I said, we've covered quite a few individual separate price action triggers and setups. And it's actually there's a great deal of power when we actually start to be able to combine those in our trading to provide us with stronger opportunities when we're looking at markets through a price action prism. So I appreciate that some of you will uh, just be joining us for the, the first time. What I can suggest is that the Trading Spotlight webinar series has a, a, a huge range of fantastic content that is there for your uh, uh, education. Uh, and you can find that on the Admiral Market YouTube channel and the Facebook page. And I uh, sort of really do sort of uh, um, uh, emphasize that uh, you should go and check out that fantastic content that's been created by myself and my colleagues, Jens and Marcus, to be able to help you guide you with your own trading. And we've actually done, as I said, quite a few webinars on price action itself, but you know, as a very quick recap towards what price action trading is, it's really a basic means of market analysis using price movement over time. It's popular with both retail and institutional traders. And what we're looking to do is analyzing the change in price over time, the action. And what we're looking to do is typically focus on price action over the last six, three to six months but also respecting longer term price movements. What you can see there is uh, my uh, wonderful assistant has just placed up a, uh, a link there to the Admiral Markets uh, uh, YouTube channel there, as I said. 
I really do suggest that you know all of you take a chance to uh, go through and uh, uh, sort of enjoy that material. Some fantastic content there, some really really good insights and guidance there to help you with your own trading. But as a quick recap, as I said, you know, we'll just do a slide or two just to, to sort of refresh or reinforce price action trading for those of you in the room who've uh, had some experience of price action trading already. And if you have, you know, it'd be fantastic. Please just, you know, drop us a comment in the uh, chat box there. If you have had some experience of price action trading, just let us know, you know, what kind of instruments, what kind of time frames you've engaged and how you found it yourself, whether you found it helped you in your trading or hindering. We, uh, we appreciate all of the uh, interaction and it's uh, great to see sort of the, the kind of experience that we have here in the room today. So how do we create a price action trading plan? Okay, as part of our recap now, as I said, we did this in, in greater detail when we uh, looked at uh, price action in specific in terms of building a trading plan. You can find that on the YouTube channel. But what we talked about was that, you know, before you look at actually price action, you know, it's almost like you need to set the tone. Okay, you need to understand what's going on in the market. You need to build that bigger picture. And that's the way we do that is, you know, we just started with just a very simple, almost like a little simple checklist, part of a routine that you can follow, right? So regardless of what sort of particular time frame you choose to trade with or you choose to engage with markets on, what we talked about is that you should start with the monthly, weekly and daily charts. Any instrument that you're looking at, it doesn't really matter whether you find yourself as a five minute euro dollar trader or you're a weekly trader on Bitcoin or you're a daily trader on gold. OK, if you're going to trade price action, you just need to have a little simple routine just to start you off, ladies and gentlemen. As we said, start with a monthly, weekly and daily chart. Open your chart, start drawing in those particular levels that you know will provide us uh, support and resistance or perhaps like a, yeah, a big round number. OK, that's just effectively a cycle logical number that we see markets uh, uh, returning to. So for example, in uh, pound against dollar at the moment, 130 has been a big round number that has uh, prices bounced around back and forth, you know, over there over the last, maybe you could say over the last year to 18 months. Uh, and also you can sort of encounter your moving averages. And you'll hear sometimes, you know, traders will talk about moving averages being dynamic levels of support and assistance. And, why the dynamic? Well, because moving averages are constantly moving, they're constantly being updated as more data comes into the market, as opposed to static levels of support and resistance, which is something like normal support resistance, horizontal support resistance, or a big round number. But that's just having a little plan, okay? Just a very, very simple plan that can just help put you in the, uh, firstly, in the right frame, but also have a bit of an understanding of the bigger picture within that instrument that you're looking to trade. If you remember what we talked about is, you know, once you've got into that and built that little plan and built the picture of what you see in the market, well, then we need some price action triggers. Just some very simple trade triggers that, you know, we have covered include things like the inside bar, the outside bar or engulfing candle or the pin bar or sometimes rejection candle, it might be known as, or the key reversal, key day reversal. So, you know, there are specific uh, webinars for each of those individual price action triggers, as I said. Please uh, avail yourself of them in the uh, in the YouTube channel, on the Facebook page, or in the Traders Yard. You'll see a couple of them are in there as well. So, if you are new to trading, you're just trying to understand, you know, what a couple of price action triggers are. Then, you know, there is plenty of fantastic content there that you can avail yourself of, and I, you know, and I uh, sort of uh, uh, guarantee that it will help you in your uh, trading journey. So, if you remember what we talked about, you know, we did a whole series on uh, the inside bar. Not surprisingly, inside bar is forming the high and low of that particular bar or candle is fully within the range of the preceding bar. Sometimes you might hear that preceding bar, sometimes referred to as the mother bar or the kangaroo bar. And the way I describe it is you have to think of it like an organism breathing, okay? The market is like an organism, even though, you know, we might have lots of uh, algos and computers doing a lot of the execution of trading these days. It's still, you know, it is still actually humans operating. It's still a reflection of human psychology. And like any human organism, it's, you know, we, we breathe and we surge, we rest and we surge, okay? The inside bar is the rest. What we're looking to do is to identify where inside bars are so that we can hopefully position ourselves to catch the next surge. And that's what we're looking at there, okay? And we've discussed that, okay? The, you know, the range must be within the, uh, the high and the low must be within the range of the preceding bar. Okay, this one on the far right doesn't because actually the wick of it, the wick of it traded higher than the actual high of the preceding bar, so that doesn't count. 
We talked also about the outside bar, or more often known as the sort of engulfing candle. Not unsurprisingly, the outside bar is the exact opposite of the inside bar. An outside bar is formed when the high and the low of that bar fully engulf the range of the preceding bar. Okay? It must include the complete engulfment of the entire range of the previous bar, not just the body. Some people like to just trade in, you know, engulfing candles or uh, yeah, outside bars just off the bodies. But personally, personally, my view is that it should, uh, it has to have complete engulfment of the entire range of the previous bar, not just the body. Let's just uh, just make that try and make that clear. Use some of these uh, wonderful drawing tools. Okay, is that uh, invariably what we need to see is that, you know we need to see a full engulfing. Okay. Full engulfment of the previous high and low. As I said, some people will just like look to operate just off the actual bodies. That's not the way I like to look at it. The way I like to look at it is if there is a high and a low there, it's because at some point during that during that period, your know, price has traded there. Okay, so it is still an important part of the, the makeup of that candle, uh, and you'd be uh, you'd be foolish to sort of disregard that information. So, you know, as we can see here, some very simple uh, examples. And, you know, personally, what I like to see is, you know, I like to see a strong engulfing candle, meaning that, you know, there's a strong body there, okay? We can see there's a, a strong body. Why is that? Because it's giving me a psychological representation of what's happening in the market. I just want you to think about what has happened in that market for an engulfing candle. In this particular case, price has probably been just drawing all its way down, put in this sort of, you know, bearish candle, Price the next day pushes to the uh, to the low. Then actually we can see turns around, trades back up past the open, and closes right on its highs right at the end of the uh, end of the session. Uh, and that's giving us a good indication that at that point, for whatever reason, you know the bulls stepped in and they wrestled control of that market. Okay, and so the opportunity is for ourselves is more likely to be a bullish one as we expect the sort of price to to sort of be more likely to sort of trade higher over the next couple of sessions. Then we have the pin bar or the rejection candlestick pad, sometimes even called high test or low test. You know, the name, or sometimes even the Japanese, they'll call it sort of, you know, shooting stars, okay, hanging man. The actual name of it isn't necessarily that, uh, uh, that important. You can label it how you wish, but what it is is about being able to recognize it. And it is, it's a very popular trading trigger, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very popular trading trigger because it's a very visual one, you know, good ones sort of leap off the chart, which is what we like to, uh, to, to see. But as a general rule of thumb, not always, but as a general rule of thumb, what we like to see is that the open and the close, the open and the close is, you know, it's within the range of the, the previous bar. Also, what we like to see is that the candle wick is, should be at least sort of two to three times the size of the bar. Okay, that's not always the way, but, you know, we, that's what we're looking for, ideally, two to three times the length of the body. What we also want to see is that kind of nose protruding as well. Okay, we like to see that nose protruding out from all other bars. Uh, and as I said, you know, good pin bars, good rejection panels, they stick out and they're very, very obvious. Uh, and as we go through the, uh, the rest of the session, you'll start to see, you know, when you start to combine them with other price action uh, candles, it starts to make for really, really quite a, a nice trading setup, something that is definitely worth, uh, definitely worth taking note of. And so these are just some examples of pin bars. You know, we like to, uh, you know, the more you see these things, the more you start to recognize them. Okay, the easier it is. It's almost like you're trading your, uh, trading your eyes to be able to sort of see these particular patterns, you know, and, it's, and that involves just doing a little bit of homework and going through charts. It could be any chart. It could be a five-minute chart, gold. It could be a monthly chart, Bitcoin. It could be daily chart, pound against dollar. Just going through and just seeing where these price action patterns uh, demonstrate themselves, where you see inside bars, where you see engulfing candles, where you you see pin bars and where on the chart they actually show up and does that actually provide you with a, a, an opportunity a simple clear opportunity for you to be able to trade so you know we've covered lots of price action trading tactics in previous webinars however when they become even more powerful when they are combined what does that mean? Well, when you see combinations of things like inside bars, pin bars, engulfing candles, and key reversal bars, well then together that 
gives us a bit of an idea that we have an ideal setup. It just gives us a hint of just a, a slightly a slightly better probability of you know, where the price may move over the next few sessions. So what we're going to talk about for the rest of the session is about, well, you know, let's discuss a few well-known ones. Let's have a look and see, you know, can we start to identify them to, to help us in our own, uh, uh, in building a more comprehensive price action trading plan. So what we've uh, split these down into in terms of combining price action tactics is that sometimes these combinations will appear in single candles, two candles, or even three and more candle setups. What that means is that, you know, sometimes you can get, you know, sometimes you'll get that uh, reversal, okay, just in the one candle. But sometimes you'll see, you know, three, four, five, maybe candles going together, combining in the terms of what they're uh, sort of presenting in terms of price action and when you start to see that okay even though they don't happen as often as we would like when you see them you're absolutely right to, to be taking care of this to taking a notice of what's actually going on and being ready to trade what's actually coming coming down your way because they're actually setting you up for a uh, for a great trading opportunity so let's have a little look at just a few of the examples that uh, that you may have you know may come across and, and you may be aware of already you may have actually seen them yourself so, you know, if you hear me talking about a sort of a, a one candle combination, well, that is where we're seeing multiple triggers all in one candle. Very often, and what we'll do is we'll look at uh, a few live charts later on in the, uh, in the session, is that this is where you have multiple triggers all in that one candle. So it is possible to have one candle where it is possibly it is a pin bar, which could also be an engulfing candle and also a key reversal candle. They don't happen very often, ladies and gentlemen, okay? They don't happen very often, but when they do, that is a very simple and a very powerful setup that we can sort of avail ourselves of in terms of looking towards our actual uh, uh, trading setups. As I said, they don't happen very often, but you know, when they do, you're actually looking to ensure that you can uh, sort of make the very, very most of it. take part in that particular uh, in that particular trade so you know it, it's uh, part of it is about you know being able to train yourself being able to train yourself to get ready for when these opportunities show up and we'll show you a few examples of those in a in a few slides time what is actually more likely is that you'll probably see sort of two candle combos okay and that's what you'll actually look at this is where you have not unsurprisingly two candles combining to provide yourself with a trigger very popular one is a pin bar and an inside bar candle combination. Or you'll get a reversal with a uh, pin bar followed by an inside bar or vice versa. And these happen when these occur, okay, they are absolutely tradable opportunities. We can see in this particular chart here, okay, let me just get my drawing tool up, just as a little quick example. That, you know, price was actually in a uh, particular uptrend there. Okay, we can see the price has been moving up. Uh, I apologize for my uh, drawing. As I said, I'm a better trader than I am an artist, but hopefully you, uh, you, get, uh, you get the message. And what we actually saw here was, you know, we had this is, you know, what I would look at this as a bit of a, <clears throat> an exhaustion candle here. This particular candle here, price is actually just pushing up, it's closing up after a, uh, after a strong move up. But what we see next, on the next candle here, this is an inside bar, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's just draw that in there. Okay, said, and then what we have followed that the next candle, the next candle is a rejection candle. Okay, it's a pin bar. We can see that the the nose is pointing out there. It's very clear. Okay, it stands out. So we've had just effective just right there. Okay, is a two candle combination, an inside bar followed by a pin bar. As I said, when you see these. You want to sort of sit up and take note because actually what we can see here is that this started a bit of a strong move down there okay for the uh, for the next few uh, for the next few particular sessions that's what provides the opportunity as i said combining price action tactics you know that they never happen as often as we would like them to happen okay but what it is is that you know you can train yourself to be able to identify these or you're able to combine you know a particular uh, uh, EAs to identify them for you on MT4, MT5, well then they you know, provide you with you know, great little setups, okay? Great little, very simple price action combination setups that as I say, once you've practiced and gone through charts and looked and recognized, you'll be able to see and recognize very quickly and clearly with your, uh, with your own eyes.
And uh, alternative ones is where you see three and more candle combinations. Not unsurprisingly, okay, you know, when they come together, happens rarely, but when they do, it provides quite a powerful trigger. But you also have to be aware of when you're seeing, you know, uh, combined price action triggers, okay, that might be three or more candles, that could actually be part of a bigger chart pattern. As I said, they don't happen, but they are particularly powerful. So, you know, when I particularly look at this, uh, this particular chart here, okay, which uh, I, I think might be a weekly chart of gold, okay, it might be a weekly chart of gold, but to be honest, it doesn't actually really matter. This could be a chart of Bitcoin, it could be a chart of Euro dollar, it could be a chart of silver, it could be a chart of gold, it could be a chart of oil. It doesn't actually really matter. Price action, price action, you know, is is it's um, it is uh, instrument and time frame agnostic. It doesn't really matter what time frame you're trading. It doesn't really matter what instrument. Being able to read price action is, you know, unbelievably, uh, unbelievably uh, a powerful tool in terms of uh, uh, helping you with your trading decisions. What we can see here in this particular case, price was uh, price was coming down, price was falling down. Price finished, okay, the move down finished on this candle, okay. That candle also happened to be, okay, it happened to be an engulfing candle, but it also happened to be a key reversal candle as well. Price pushed to a low, but it actually closed higher than the high of the previous candle. So we have, you've already got one combination there. You've got one candle combination. It's an engulfing candle and it's a key reversal candle. But have a look. Well, the next candle, what is it? Well, the next candle here is an inside bar. Let me just get rid of some of these drawings here to make it a little bit clearer for us to see. And the next candle, okay, candle two here is an inside bar. It's an inside bar, which is also a rejection candle as well. So that is a little bit of a combination. We then have the uh, the next candle here. Okay, the next candle here is a rejection candle, right? It's a rejection candle here. It's a pin bar. So, you know, what we've seen here is that, you know, we've got like a combination of sort of three candles there. Furthermore, furthermore, this is also now starting to print ourselves a double bottom, okay? A double bottom, which is a reversal pattern in itself. Okay, hopefully I'll just draw that in. You might be able to start to see that. There we go. Okay, and we have to see that. So we've got not only have we got a you know a combination of several candles, price action candles coming together, but it is also part of a bigger chart pattern, which is a, in this case a double bottom, a W, which is a reversal pattern. And uh, for those of you who are uh, you know quite uh, quite sharp, quite already sort of starting to put it together, <clears throat> excuse me. You'd have seen that you know once you had this uh, candle that uh, sort of triggered the double bottom and okay, forced them off, the next candle was invariably a little inside bar, which was also a rejection candle before price actually launched itself up, okay, and just uh, rallied up for the next few sessions. So hopefully you can see that, as I said, unfortunately they never happen as often as we want them to happen. You know, they never happen as often as we want them to happen. But when they do, ladies and gentlemen, if you've done the work to actually recognize, be able to recognize it, well, then this provides you with great trading opportunity. They're very powerful, okay? They're rare, but powerful trading. You know, and once you've trained yourself to be able to identify what a, a, you know, what a rejection candle is, what an inside bar is, what an engulfing candle is, what a key reversal candle is, you will start to actually see when you have combinations of these, you know, of these particular triggers coming together. And uh, that's the time when you actually just, you know, want to sit up in your chair and be ready to engage with markets because there is a there is an opportunity there you know front and center for you and uh, hello vincenzo thank you for joining us There's a couple as always i see a couple of mentions there in the uh, in the commentary box thank you for joining us vincenzo price structure break minimum broken upwards yeah yep you're absolutely right okay and maybe that in itself is a uh, is a future webinar that we can do vincenzo okay on actually understanding market structure and how to trade when we see structure breaks but uh, that is one of the ways i, I trade myself but it is absolutely it's and um, all you're doing there is it's, it's just reinforcing what we're talking about it's just when we're getting a combination Okay, you get a combination of price action trading tactics that are combining together, forming a bigger chart pattern that also should demonstrates a price structure break. You've got a confluence of events there. Okay, you've got three, four, five, six things all coming together at one time and place. All right, and actually, part of being a good trader is actually having the patience 
to wait for when setups like that occur. But it becomes easier, okay? It becomes much easier to have those uh, setups in place when you actually uh, when you actually uh, uh, know what you're looking for, okay? When you've practiced, when you're actually practiced to a level where you understand what you're looking for and you're ready to take on board the uh, take on board the trade. So thank you for that, Vincenzo. Uh, sharp as always, and hopefully you can also see. Ladies and gentlemen, that if you look in the uh, the, the chat box there, uh, my uh, assistant has uh, uh, placed in a couple of links to the uh, uh, to the YouTube channel and also sort of uh, for some of the uh, inside bar candlestick pattern from the Trading Spotlight webinar. So as I say, please be uh, make you avail yourself of all this uh, wonderful uh, content that is here for you. You know, we uh, really hope it helps you. And if you've got any uh, commentary on that, even when you're watching on YouTube, please just you know if you like it, please give us a like. If you've got any questions, please drop them in there. We'll be very happy to engage with you and help you where and as we can. So, you know, we're looking at a couple of examples here. <clears throat> and I'm going to take a little sip of my water. So, you know, what we can see is, here we go. We can see this is a gold on the weekly chart, okay? Uh, gold on the weekly chart. And, you know, you can see that particular particular levels there okay particular big round numbers there 1400 1300 1200 okay we can see in this particular case we had just a you know a, yeah, a price action uh, rejection candle at 1400 which then drove us all the way down here okay drove us all the way down to 1200 dollars but what happens when we get to 1200 dollars yes we hit this particular level which we can see that you know price has rejected in the past and um, we can see once price is down there, well, what happens is, well, the first candle we get is a little inside bar, okay. I'd actually call that a little bit of a spinning top, which you can uh, identify as just a uh, look at that. But it's the important thing is that it's an inside bar. But then what do we have as the next candle, okay? What do we have as the very next candle here, okay? We have a candle that is, firstly, it's a re rejection candle, a pin bar. It is also an engulfing candle, okay, because it engulfs the candle beforehand. But it was also a key reversal candle as well, because price pushed to a new low, but price traded all the way back up and closed, okay, closed above the high of the previous candle. So you've got, a, you know, you've got a 1200, you've got a, you know, at a, at a level that has been rejected before, price at a level that has, you know, there's been a rejection before, followed by a price action inside bar, followed by a you know, price action combination. So you've got a, a two, you know, two candle combo with the actual, you know, the, the sort of uh, pin bar engulfing candle key reversal candle combo there as well, which actually then just shows us the price actually just starts to rally itself all the way up, just up back up to near the 1400 before that that is finished by, that move up there is finished by an engulfing candle. Okay, it's not a key reversal candle because it doesn't close beneath the low of the previous candle, but it is an engulfing candle, and we can see candle price just drifts down to the 1300 level. Then, what do we see there? And we'll look at is well, then you're getting a double combo there, okay? You're getting a you know, you're getting a bit of a uh, you have an, an engulfing candle there, okay, followed by actually two, two uh, pin bars, okay two pin bars and the second pin bar is also an inside bar as well okay it's just a it's just a touch of an inside bar an inside bar it's a pin bar it's a double pin bar there okay so it's a case of you know as i said once you actually sort of just take your time just you know just uh, uh take your time learning and understanding and being able to review these price action triggers and when you start to see them occurring you know when they start occurring okay you know in the in combinations of one two three or even more candles perhaps it's showing you in your a bigger chart pattern when it's happening at a particular you know area and place particular time and place on the charts those are great opportunities, okay? Those are great uh, opportunities to trade, okay? And as I said, part of the uh, part of the challenge as a trader is uh, having the uh, the patience to be able to wait for when you see these particular combinations occur. So um, here we have the sort of the Dow Jones, okay? The sort of Dow Jones 30 here, the weekly chart. I'm just trying to show you just a few different examples of, you know, as I said, it doesn't really matter what um, what sort of instrument you're looking at. But, you know, what we have, uh, <coughs> excuse me, what we have here is, okay, up here we had, after the move up, okay, we had after the move up, we had uh, an inside bar, 
followed by this was a uh, this was a rejection candle maybe it just doesn't look very clear on the chart but it was a rejection candle before price moved away from that particular area what we can see is that you know price has uh, maneuvered about and there's some price action signals there okay like you know totally engulfing candle key reverse candle you can see some rejection candles here but you know what we get particularly interested in is you know having hit this kind of uh, recent high okay where price rejected it came back down so what we had was here we had uh, a, you know, a, uh, a rejection candle here okay particularly big strong rejection candle followed by an inside bar that was also okay a uh, also a uh, uh, another rejection candle then we have a, a further inside bar now of course now we have the width to the other side and people might be getting a little bit you know a little bit wary but then the next candle we can see okay the next candle is you no know, it's an engulfing candle okay it's an engulfing candle it is a key reversal candle just about okay as well and you know we've had a combination there okay and actually if you looked at that on a uh, if you looked at that on a sort of a, a lower time frame what did it actually give us it gave us a little bit of a, a double bottom which price then rejected came back sort of had its last pullback before it moved away and we've seen that we've seen the dow actually just move along very very nicely there so as i said there you know it's a it's a case of you know just being able to sort of uh, you know understand and see these when you start to see here okay there's a price action there's a rejection candle followed by an inside bar bullish inside bar then price actually starts to sort of move its way up okay so it's just a case of you know just just practice just practice what you're looking for okay just open a chart it doesn't really matter what chart it is just open it up have a look at it and just work your way through and just test yourself, okay? And the more you practice, the better you'll become. So here's uh, here it is there. What we're looking for is Euro Sterling Weekly here. Okay, it's particularly one of uh, my own trades from uh, from uh, last year. Okay, sort of a, a start of last year. So Euro Sterling Weekly charts, and what we have here is we have a level here, significant level. Okay, ninety. Okay, we've got ninety there. Is there, and you know we can see that the, the first time the price comes up to it. Okay, there's a little bit of a rejection candle. Uh, followed by uh, sort of it's just about it's just about an engulfing candle. it's not a key reversal candle but price falls away then price actually puts in you know a, an engulfing candle key reversal candle before price comes back up to that 90 level okay this is uh, this is what we're keen on okay price is back up to this 90 level where we have you know one you know, here we go we have one rejection candle followed by a second rejection candle followed by a third almighty rejection candle and this final one is one that kind of interests me because you know not only is it a, a rejection candle but it is an engulfing candle and it is also a key reversal candle price is pushed to new highs but it closes beneath the low of the previous candles okay and i'm just you know as i said i'm looking for a confluence of events there's three or four things all coming together also, depending upon your time frame, you might actually also see that, Paul, this was actually part of a bigger sort of double top position there that, that we drove. But either way, OK, there was, as I said, the important thing is, is that there was a confluence of events. There was lots of things coming together that one time and place before price gave us the opportunity to drive its way all the way down before actually it ended by a, a double bottom there before it moved its way back up. So, you know, this was just literally a case of, you know, the weekly chart, okay? This is just part of my, uh, part of my weekly routine going through, you know, identifying, you know, particular setups there when I'm seeing price action. Combinations, you bet your life, they go on my what position out of that. On uh, Bitcoin for us, okay. Just uh, yeah, uh, a Bitcoin example here, just to sort of uh, show that uh, what we're uh, working at. This is just going back, you know, a, a year or two, okay, for when we start to see the the real great strong moves, okay, on uh, Bitcoin as uh, as you know as the as the, as the crypto world went uh, went absolutely uh, parabolic there. But you know, once again, what we're looking at here, let's just get my drawing tool on, is that you know I'm just looking at here is that is that price. Price was started to get an uptrend. It started to speed up, uh, and then what we actually saw was price was coming back here. Okay, 
in a bullish flag pattern, which is a, you know, a, a continuation pattern. That was finished by what was, you know, a, a combo candle. It was an engulfing candle. And a key reversal candle. And then a candle after bullish rejection, that new breakup before price takes off. And actually, we see that the price does that again. Price comes down, okay? It, it rejects this 3,000, okay? 3,000 price level where the 20 period moving average is acting as dynamic support to put in a rejection candle. The next candle there is an inside bar, which also is <coughs> a little bit of a. Uh, a little bit of a rejection candle itself but then we actually what we see is that it breaks out of the uh, the inside bar and continues up on that kind of particular great move that we had there and then we had another inside bar there as it pushed to new highs of the rejection candle as well so it's just trying to show you that you know these show up across all instruments okay all instruments all time frames and it's about us being able to sort of uh, recognize and see where they uh, where they, you know, where they show up to be ready to trade, uh, to be ready to trade them when they, uh, when, they uh, when they come our way. Uh, this is uh, Kiwi Yen, okay, on the uh, the four hour chart, just an example here, and uh, just move this out of the way a little bit. So, you know, this was just trying to show sort of little bits of, of different examples, okay, in terms of you know, what we can see here is, you know, Kiwi Yen is in a particularly nice trend. And now I'll just get my drawing tool up. You know, Kiwi and Yen is in a particularly nice, uh, nice trend. And uh, what we saw here was, you know, this was effectively price was whilst it was in that trend, it came back. Okay, it rejected that 20 period moving average, and then we had an inside bar after, which also happened to be a bit of a doji candle. But what we can see is that you know, price that was the end of the week, and then price basically gapped up on the open, but carried on in its direction. Price actually then came back. Okay, it came back to the uh, to the area, came back to that sort of 20 period moving average. Okay, which we've talked about in the past as well in terms of the uh, in terms of uh, uh, the importance of understanding the power of that 20 period moving average. Uh, and what we could see was that actually price had and you know, we had inside bars and then we had with rejection candles as well before that sort of joint had the opportunity to sort of trade that in the direction of that existing trend. When we come here, okay, you know, what we're looking at is, you know, price here, okay, as it comes down, yes, it is an inside candle. Yes, it is an inside candle, but, you know, what we'd be looking at is that, you know, this candle here isn't really a, a rejection candle. It's, it's more of a bit of a doji candle followed by another doji candle. It's possible that some people might have traded that, but I think you would have been sort of washed out there, okay, a little bit in the, the wash. But then what we do have is then we have, you know, a really very nice, very clear, Okay, uh, rejection candle, pin bar there, followed by, okay, followed by another inside bar, which is also a little bit of a doge, a little bit of rejection candle. Uh, and we see price actually, you know, would trigger and come back down, but, you know, it bounces off that 50 period moving average before moving up. Some people would have seen that here, you know, we had like a little bit of a pact of consolidation. Okay, a little bit of inside bars within that actual, you know, uh, candle. And what we'd have been looking for is if you're already long, you'd probably actually just be looking to sort of just sort of uh, um, move up your stop loss on that particular trade. But actually what we can see is that, you know, the, the trend itself is just continuing. The trend itself just absolutely continues. Okay. And then until, you know, that trend finishes, it hits a particular level of resistance. As it gets up there, we have a couple of uh, inside uh, candles followed by a bit of a key reversal candle there. Okay, price pushed to new high but closes, it gulfs the previous two candles uh, before it actually sort of drops itself there. So, as I said, it's about just open a chart, okay, if anything, just practice, you know, just uh, test yourself, pushing yourself through to go through and actually sort of work out how to, uh, to look at these uh, completely. Uh, and this is you know, one or two of the last examples. Kiwi dollar against the Japanese yen here is, uh, you know, a case of <clears throat> we can see that you know price is grinding its way down. Price pulls its way back up towards this 200 period moving average. Okay, dynamic resistance. We start to have a bearish reject candle. Followed by the next candle, which handle is a key reversal candle, uh, and we actually see that before price starts to make its move all the way down. Okay, 
the price starts to move is all the way down. So as I said, you know, these combos, they don't happen as often as we'd like, but you keep an eye out for them because when they do, it provide, it's providing you with a, a wonderful opportunity. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's a few sort of just final points uh, for you is that, you know, your homework for this week, which is what I always like to give you to take away with, is that just go through your favorite charts and try to identify possible price action combinations, right? How often do they occur and where did they occur? Okay, where they occur can be equally important. If they are happening at dynamic levels of support resistance or horizontal levels of support resistance or big round numbers or areas where we have seen price being rejected in the past, well then, you know, when you're starting to get that confluence of events, that provides us with a great opportunity to sort of uh, be ready to, to, to take the trade of that. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, the price action analysis is a way of analyzing the market using purely price action. We're looking for price action triggers at significant price levels, prices, or zones, as we've discussed. What that does is that allows us to build a simple price action trading plan. And you can read more about that if you follow either the links in the chat box, go to the YouTube channel and find the, uh, the previous trading spotlight webinars that we've delivered on price action. When we see price action combinations, that provides us with a very strong signal. They don't happen as often as, they, uh, as we would like them to, but when they do, it's definitely worth setting up to take, uh, to take note of. It's always important to do our analysis and to manage risk on all of our trades. And we've got about a minute or two left, so we'll just have a quick, very quick look on the charts just to, uh, to, finish, to finish up. But I'll be around this afternoon in the tradersyard.com forward sleep forward slash group forward slash 312 come and join us in the trading spotlight community and don't forget to join us next time where my colleague marcus will be talking about you know when is the best time to trade including an overview of the typical trading day when's the best time the day week and month to trade and how does this change depend upon your trading style and that's there on wednesday two o'clock on january the 22nd as always there's lots of analysis and education on the admiralmarkets.com and you can always contact us or email hello at admiralmarkets.com for uh, hello at admiralmarkets.com, youtube.com forward slash admiralmarkets, and at facebook.com forward slash admiralmarkets global. I hope you found that useful, ladies and gentlemen. Just a bit of an insight into combining price action. We've got about a minute or two left. I'll very, very quickly just look at one chart, maybe just to, uh, to finish us off. But as always, I wish the best of uh, uh, success in your own trading. And be sure to uh, sort of come and join us in the uh, Trading Spotlight community on Traders Yard and to uh, join my colleague Marcus on Wednesday. Many thanks. <laughs>